Hey, hello everyone. It's time to do a proper playthrough of this game. It is the game I started this channel with. Stalker Gamma. Don't click those old videos, <laughs> I beg you. Only if you want to see how far I came in a year of making content for YouTube. <laughs> now, a little bit about this playthrough and why I'm not making one of those zero to hero knife on hard difficulty runs everyone is doing. Well, it's because for me, even normal is hard. No need to make it impossible, huh? And I gave myself this Thompson because I hate the sides of the default one and to be frank I don't like the looks of that one either. The weapon is not better anyway, if anything I think it's worse. The recoil on this thing is insane and the range is lower while the fire rate is higher. So yeah, more bullets but will shoot in the air most of the time because I can't control it. But everything for looks, right? Now the settings. I checked some of the loot settings so I can randomly find extra stuff as I'm not a huge fan of playing for days with the starting weapon, you know. I also messed a bit with the weather. I drastically toned down the clear sky preset while I bumped the rest to similar levels. So we'll see more fog, more clouds, more rain, yeah, more storms. Because I think this game looks the best when it's raining. Graphical settings are at maximum because I'm an animal and I don't care about the occasional slideshow that happens once in a while when I'm recording. While I'm playing, I'll talk about each zone I'm in and what I'm doing, so this series will be a learning experience for newcomers and for myself in later areas of the zone I never visited. And each episode will be as long as it needs to be so I can cover the entire area and do all the missions at least once. I'll also show you the yellow and difficult to reach stashes I might get if I can get them. Later in this you'll see I can't breach a white stash. You saw in the background me doing the first fanatic quest, training day, that required me to kill some boars. Well, <laughs> glad he didn't die during this because, yeah, that would suck. And he tanked for me like a pro. I think I'll use him for the rest of the missions around the area before I go do his next task because he will stop following me if I do. And yeah, before we go any further, let me present you the location where you spawn into if you start here. Rookie village. This village is located in the outskirts of the military checkpoint at the entrance of the cordon. The rookie village is the starting point for a large number of rookie stalkers in the zone. The location itself is situated in a small hamlet of seven houses with Sidorovich's bunker a few meters west of the last building. And now I need to go eliminate the dangerous mutants. That one is just across the road from Rookie Village. And I think I hear dogs. Those are nasty, man. But not as nasty as cats. Down that road is the military base and that's a no-no at this point of the playthrough. I'm pretty sure I don't even have enough bullets for all those people. <laughs> I leave fanatic to get stomped by boars and beaten by those rabbit dogs. He can tank no problem. <laughs> and he completes my mission by himself. Almost. Pretty cool. Time to go do the spring clearing. I'll do his mission after that one. I want him in this one because there are four or five bad guys in there and it will be nice if he tanks for me. I won't have this luxury soon. Man, I think I messed something up with my foliage mods because this pattern you can see on the grass is very annoying. It drives me nuts. And I'll try to fix it by the next episode by reinstalling some mods and yeah, check out different options. Going to the next place, that's the vehicle station and it's a spot preferred by bandits. I rarely see other factions there. It's either with bandits or empty.
Магазина! Nice. See, Fanatic's help was invaluable. Now I can go do his mission. Sadly, after that, I'll be alone for a while. This gun is a hot mess as I can't control the recoil at all. Only if I shoot in very short bursts. Going to the trash compactor anomaly now. This is the place full with anomalies you have to dodge while searching for an artifact for Fanatic. It has some radiation too, so keep that vodka bottle and cigarettes handy. And here we go. Yeah, this this was easy. I, I remember it being in some other spot. Going out the way I got in. No idea if why fanatic comes after me. Usually he stays outside. And yeah, I go sit by the fire on this beautiful weather. <laughs> Eating canned meat and healing. After that I go turn in my missions. By the way, I got uh, another mod I forgot to mention, the one that heals my limbs while I stay near a fire. I'm cheating a little bit, you know. And after that I go turn in my missions. But I move like a snail trying to deposit the loot because I'm full and my stamina can't cope with it. Look at this. The rain with the sunset. Perfect combo. I love the variation this game gives with a few weather presets that can combine in such interesting ways, making the same place look different every time. Now the railway bridge. This broken bridge located in the center separates the two parts of Cordon. It used to have a sniper spawn on top of it, but I haven't seen it in, a, in my last few times I was here. Perhaps they removed it? I don't know. It was pretty brutal, especially if you started with some of the shotguns that have a big spread, you know. And after that, I reached Northern Farm. The base was erected in an abandoned farm just north of Railway Bridge, in the wake of the conflict between the military and loners. It's a makeshift fort, the crumbling brick buildings are reinforced with planks and junk, while scavenged barbed wire and derelict vehicles make up the walls. Heavily armed loners 
patrol the vicinity and the roofs of the farm. Now I go hunt some mutants and I'm lucky they are white and I spot them first making them attack me head on so I pick them up one by one easily. And there's a cat. The, the gun is nice if you do control bursts. I think spray and pray only works when you shoot at something in the same room or, I don't know, at point blank. Wow, look at that subsurface scattering on the tree leaves. Lovely. Now, just across the road from the farm a bit to the north, it is the abandoned farmstead. These ruins are mostly controlled by bandits as well, like with the vehicle station really. I rarely see loners in here. And now it's empty, so I start going back to the rookie village. On my way back, I stopped to the vehicle station, which is populated by a lot of bandits again. And I was surprised by this high spawn rate. I, I was expecting the place to be empty. It's good I have the high ground though, and some nice cover. It's like turkey shooting. Да ты понял, блядь! Сдохни ты там уже, пидор! While I'm looting, I find a nice mask that has a good part in it. It's not much better than my mask, but it's something. I'll repair this when I have the chance for sure. The second day, I get a new bunch of quests, but the new thing for you is the northern military checkpoint part. That's overrun by bandits most of the time. And yeah, it's time to go there. I got my first attachment on this gun and repaired my mask in the meantime in case you are wondering why I sound like Darth Vader. If it gets annoying tell me in the comments but I pretty much enjoy it for now. I go on the top of the hill because I didn't try to this angle before and I always went through the front door. And yeah I have a stash here too. A stash I can't reach apparently. God damn it. Maybe there's a hole in this fence somewhere. Or I should climb this tree somehow. But I have no idea. Yeah, no idea how to reach that. Yeah, screw this. I go drop some vengeance on those bandits.
I have to retreat as I hear one of them close somehow. But I don't know where. So they're climbing this? I, I thought it's too steep to climb uh, from their uh, base. I sit here waiting for them to come on the road. But I mean for uh, surprises, I hear them up there with me. After I finish the move, while I'm looting, an emission hits. Luckily I'm near the checkpoint and I can take shelter there. During an emission, no sphere energy flows from the center of the zone to the outskirts in a circular pattern, affecting the minds and bodies of the living. Beautiful, isn't it? On my way back to Rookie Village, I got ganked by a pack of dogs just outside it. I think I just figured out the way to confuse the AI. They have a minimum turning radius, so if I turn into them, they miss me. Wow, I have such a big brain. Insane. All those flying simulators I'm, I'm playing pay off. Yeah, then I moved back to Rookie Village and it was pretty une uneventful. Only thing that happened was a Psy storm, and, uh, but I could take refuge in one of the bunkers with a few fellow stalkers. Long exposure to Psy storm can lead to zombification, which makes a zombified stalker. And that's a no-no. I don't want to be a zombie. And this concludes the first episode that takes place in Cordon. This was very condensed by the way, I played in this area for a couple of hours by this point. I'm not too happy with the loot settings, I found it a bit too easy to get upgrades. I'll tone it down a bit so I don't end up with the best in gear slot anytime soon. I already found and was able to repair a medium helmet that's pretty good. In the next episode I'll go into garbage and do some missions there, show you the map and points of interest, get some of the stashes and see what happens. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care and see ya.